Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Monday, April 29, hint that things will heat up when Victoria Newman and Cole Howard discuss Claire Grace's muffled phone call with Michael Baldwin and Victor Newman. Michael will consider the idea that Claire was unaware of Harrison Abbott's rescue and was merely acting as Jordan's accomplice to create distraction. Victoria and Cole will rush to Claire's defense before Michael can apologize. After Cole and Victoria leave to search Jordan's motel for any remaining clues, Michael will question Victor about Jordan's odd bridge collapse. Victor will promise Michael that he is not responsible for Jordan's death, which Michael will believe is true. Victor will want to step up their attempts to find Claire because time is running out. On Monday's episode of Y and R, Victoria and Cole discover a doll in Jordan's old motel room closet. Cole will notice that it is identical to the frightening ones his mother used to collect. So he will examine and discover a set of keys buried inside. Victoria will consider these keys to be a clue that will take them to Claire. After a few minutes of thought, Victoria will confirm that she has seen these keys previously and will exclaim with excitement that she believes she knows where they should go. Summer Newman will join Nikki Newman and Jack Abbott's chat at the Abbott estate, prompting Nikki to realize that everything is her responsibility for calling 911 and allowing Jordan to survive. Nikki will disclose that Claire advised they let poison Jordan die, which will astonish Summer. Although Summer will persuade Nikki that only Jordan is to blame for her behavior, she will be honest with Jack once her grandma has left. Summer will admit that she wishes Nikki had let Jordan die, regardless of whether this makes her a bad person. Jack will implore Summer not to discuss that with Nikki because she is in such a vulnerable state, and Summer will agree. Despite this, Summer will declare that she would always wish Nikki had simply let Jordan die. Lauren Finmore Baldwin will send Nikki home to recover after their brief meeting. Nikki will get some booze and go to a suite at the GCAC instead, so she'll hide away and start drinking vodka. Chelsea Lawson will see Adam Newman since they have received updates from Connor Newman, who wishes to speak with them. Chelsea will insult Adam by going over the doctor's regulations and telling him things he already knows, so they will argue before the video conference. When Connor appears on screen, he will appear depressed and unsure whether or not the therapy is effective. Adam will bombard Connor with questions, but Chelsea will intervene to keep him from being overwhelmed. After Connor starts talking about dissociations and what his doctor has taught him, Adam will act as if it's okay to check out on occasion. Connor will snap that he can't do that since it would be like telling the OCD that it's normal. Adam will apologize and realize he has a lot to learn, so Connor will appear content to teach him. Adam and Chelsea will like hearing Connor talk about playing soccer with a friend he met at his facility. Following the call, Chelsea and Adam will become dissatisfied with the reassurances that Connor's doctor has advised them to avoid. It will lead to Adam and Chelsea expressing their actual feelings about how afraid they are and they will feel better after releasing some difficult emotions. Chelsea and Adam will agree to support each other as friends through this, thus they will hug. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Adam and Chelsea will face a long road of challenging co-parenting, so stay tuned for more predictions on all the turmoil. According to the young and the restless spoilers for Tuesday, April 30, Victor Newman will once again question Jordan about Claire Grace's whereabouts. But Jordan may swear to keep that secret until her death. Jordan may see no reason to give in to Victor's demands because there is no chance he will release her. Fortunately, there may be another way to reach Claire owing to some keys hidden inside a doll in Jordan's old motel room. Victoria Newman will lead Cole Howard to the location where she believes Claire is being held captive after revealing where she has previously seen the key set. Lie and R Spoilers Victoria will make a shocking discovery, thus it appears she will be the one to find Claire in the end. Of course, Cole will be involved in this rescue as well, 
so Claire's parents will stand up and ensure she returns home safely. Claire may face more stress as a result of Jordan's suffering, but Victoria and Cole will always be there for her. While the Newmans are likely to address the missing Claire dilemma, the Abbots will continue to deal with Ashley Abbott's mental health issues. Alan Laurent will travel to Geno City at the request of Tracy Abbott to learn more about Ashley's situation. Alan was good friends with Ashley in Paris, so this psychologist would do anything he can to aid her. After speaking with Tracy in private, Alan will reunite with Ashley and may be surprised by her personality changes. Belle will still be in charge, so she'll rapidly implement her plan to seduce Alan and exit the friend zone. Although Alan will try to tell Ashley that they are only friends, it will not sink in because he will not be dealing with Ashley in this situation. Belle will be running the show and ruining Ashley's life. Talking to Belle will be an experience, but it may also help Alan recognize Ashley's struggles with dissociative identity disorder. Our forecasts indicate that Alan will play an important role in obtaining Ashley the assistance she requires, so we'll keep you updated on the next stage of the narrative. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Ashley will surprise the Abbott family once more, so stay tuned for more exciting news. The young and the restless spoilers and updates hint that Belle, Ashley Abbott, and her Parisian psychiatrist pal Alan Lawrence's mysterious alliance will soon be revealed. This is the same psychiatrist who Ashley claimed was a friend of hers in Paris, but based on their talk, it appears like they are running a fraud. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Friends with Agendas When Alan and Ashley, Belle's alter, meet for dinner and drinks at society, Alan tells her they are friends, exactly like in Paris. Belle says sure, but with a plan. Their close familiarity suggests that they were formerly friends with benefits, but this time they're friends with agendas. Tracy Abbott was shocked to learn that Ashley as Ms. Abbott, Ashley as Ash, and now Ashley as Belle had no desire to attend to therapy. Tracy suspects Ashley made up the doctor buddy she claimed to see in Paris. He has suddenly appeared, just in time for Ashley, Ms. Abbott, Ash, and Belle to have some intensive therapy. Why are spoilers? If you're not making it, start faking it. If you aren't making it, you start fake it, as the old phrase goes, and you keep faking until people believe you, which appears to be Alan and Ashley's aim. Mice Abbott sent away the teenage altar, Ash, and she and Belle argued over it. Of course, Miss Abbott does not want Belle, Ash, or Ashley to receive any serious assistance. Tucker McCall, Miss Abbott's target might survive if she was receiving proper therapy. If Ashley, Bill, Miss Abbott, or whichever alter she is today does not have a co-conspirator to convince Tracy and her family that she is receiving therapy, it will not fly. The young and the restless spoilers, Bell tracks, Alan Down. Ashley's changes have most certainly been going on for a long time, probably even before she reconciled with Tucker, they have just become much more subtle. When Alan discovers their friendship in Paris, he speaks with Belle, the southern siren seductress, who brings up the agenda. So it seems to reason that Belle was the one who appeared when Tracy, Jack Abbott, Billy Abbott, and Diane Jenkins Abbott staged their intervention. Between all of Ashley's altars, they must control events and safeguard Ashley, and Belle's suggestion is to bring in an old psychiatrist buddy. Probably more of a friend than psychiatrist Alan. There's a fair chance this is a ruse to make it look like she's in therapy. And Alan has no idea because he only knows Bella. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like. And subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.